All right, next we have a neat little letter here from um, MK, initials there, um, VHDW. <laughs> I'm not sure what all the your name is there, excuse me for that, but from the Netherlands. Uh, really neat little card here. I'll cover up the address. So, very neat little card and letter. It's kind of funny because there's this, uh, inside here they have these neat little white things, like little stuff in here. Whoa. Like a little tissue paper like that, you know, and we were driving home with the windows down in our vehicle and uh, you know, Catherine opened up the package and, and all of a sudden these little white things are flying. <laughs> Close the windows quick. So <laughs> it's kind of funny, but uh, it's like a little snowstorm there. So it helped us to feel cool on a hot day, but <laughs> uh, love stuff like that. But let's see here. Uh, don't know if you want your pictures shown there, but beautiful uh, family, adorable little baby there and everything. Uh, really neat send, sending the pictures, you know, right there. I'm not going to show them. Um, but it says, thank you, Brian, Catherine, and Oliver. There you go. Very neat. Um, okay, here's the letter. Okay, the, the initials there is M, S, and then the little baby, I think, is uh, would be a J, I think. But it's kind of in the... Is Nor it's Norwegian, it's spoken in Netherlands, is it? Did I have that right? Oh. My brain, I've been answering letters for hours, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, it's, but I think the J's are pronounced like a, a Y, so we like the name yeah. there, but... Sorry. Um, hello, dear and beloved Brian, Catherine, and Oliver. Or should we say, Guten Tag, good day in German. Um, we are M, S, N, J from the Netherlands. At first, we want to thank the Lord our God for letting us, lead, letting us to your ministry. After six years of the Lord pulling us and leading us, we came finally to the understanding that his word is true, that we are true sinners and needed to repent and turn to God, being washed by the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the first six years, nobody tell us, told us the true gospel, but we thank God that he showed us the way. After these six years, we are now following your videos for two years, and we thank and praise God every day for doing. Uh, finally, we found true members of the church of God who dare to speak truth. We have learned more in these two years than we did in the whole other years of our life. life. You learned us to be zealous in studying the word of God, that there is only one Bible, the King James Bible. After lots of Studying, we hope one day to be a workman unto God, not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. The too controversial for YouTube hard drive project is a great help for us in understanding the word of God. It is funny because after watching so much video of you, we feel a really strong connection to you, and we felt like we needed to let you know how much you mean to us. Thank you. Um, I am, the, the husband in other words, am 27 years old, and... His wife is 25. Their uh, son is uh, two months now. You are to us an older and wise brother and sister in Christ Jesus that teach us wisdom in the word of God. There has been a lot of changes in our life. We stopped going to a church building. My wife stopped her job so she can be a housekeeper at home and take care of her child. She went from pants to long dresses. For me, I have Quitted almost all my jobs so I can study the Word of God, um, buying the truth and sell it not. We hope and pray that we can one day in the future start our own ministry in the Netherlands and teach others like you uh, teach us. Please pray for us that the Lord our God will one day um, nearby use us and help us um, through His Holy Spirit to set up the ministry here in Holland. There is so much false doctrine here in Holland. And a big falling away. I know it's just, it's a really dark thing over there in Europe. I, I've heard from so many different people on that. Just a real sad thing. We hope and pray that our Lord will give us a little more time before the resurrection will happen. 
Then shall we be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Dear Brian and Catherine, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. You are an ensample to many brothers and sisters in Christ. We hope our letter will be an, an encouragement to keep on witnessing for the Lord our Savior Jesus Christ. We pray for you without ceasing, night and day, that the Lord our God will protect you from evil and keep you from temptation. If you have any advice for us, uh, let us please know. If you have any needs or help, tell us about it. The Lord Jesus Christ be with thy spirit. Grace be with you. Amen. M, S, and J. Um, thank you very, very much for your letter. It's very, very touching. We, that is really, wow, really neat to hear. Um, advice for you? Um, if I was to give you the best advice I can in terms of what's it like to be in full-time ministry, if that's what the Lord calls you into, which... I think it'd be a great calling. Um, certainly Holland uh, is very much in need. There's a lot of people over there. Um, it, I've, I've learned that certain things like this go in kind of in cycles. You have people that, you know, kind of receive the gospel. I know probably back in the Reformation years, there was probably some stuff going on in Holland. Um, I don't, I don't really know a whole lot about the Netherlands and what all work would have been done there, but you know, I know about Switzerland and Germany, of course, and, and other countries that there was, the Reformation was pretty strong there. I don't know if it, what all went on in the Netherlands, so forgive me for my ignorance, but um, people are going to start looking for answers, and if, I believe the Lord is going to uh, raise up people, raise up men in different countries. Um, how long till the Lord catches us up? I have no idea. Resurrection could be soon. I, I, again, I don't know. But uh, the, in the time of Jacob's trouble, there's a great multitude that gets saved out of every people, kindred, tongue, and nation. Um, Revelation chapter 7. So um, there, is a, there is some mighty movements of the Lord coming in the future. Uh, are you going to be part of setting things up there in, in your country before the Lord says, come up hither? Very possible. Very possible. Um, when you go into full-time ministry, uh, don't be scared away by lack of numbers. I've seen people that, that claim you know, that they are going to be in ministry of some kind, but nobody listens to them and whatever else. And um, so they quit. They want to see results. They want to see, you know, big numbers that they can brag about. Don't ever fall for that. Don't ever fall for that. If you only get to lead one person to the Lord or lead one person into the truth, um, hey, that's what it's all about. Um, so you go out there and you just say, Lord, what do you want for me? If it's to lead one person to you before we get caught up at the resurrection, okay. If that's all it is, then uh, help me leave a testimony behind. But uh, as things get worse and worse in this world, I do believe people are going to look more and more towards God. And that's why the time of Jacob's trouble, another reason it's going to be so bloody, because people are just going to say, no, I'm not going to join the Catholic Church. No, I'm not going to take the mark. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. And they'll say, okay, we're going to kill you. So, but a really neat letter. Thank you so much for sending that. Uh, it was Great to hear from you. Um, really pray for the Lord's blessing to be upon you, brother and sister and your little one. And uh, just I pray that the Lord does great things in your lives in the future. And that uh, uh, I just love the fact that I believe the Lord's raising up men of God that can go out and speak to their people and make it about the Lord, make it about the Lord and His Word. And you'll be all right. So... I'm going to go on to the next letter. Thanks again for this one.